morning class. Today we will learn exercise 6, chapter 6, arithmetic progression. And in short, we write it AP. AP is new for you. This is the first time for you in class 10. Maths is very easy, dear students, if you know the concepts. So try to understand the concept. Then once you understand the concept, you will find very easy. So before we go through the chapters, let us understand some points. First, let us understand sequence. What is sequence? Sequence is an arrangement of numbers in a definite order. Definite order means in some order, same order. We can say it that way. According to some rules is called a sequence. So here I have written some examples. This number is in definite order. See what you can see here. It is 1, 3, 5, 7. So what do you see here? So the difference of these two number is 2. And the next two number, difference of the next two number also, it is 2. And here also we have 2. So what is the definite number here? What rules we have? It is addition of 2, isn't it? So difference of these two number is 2. And difference of these two number is also 2. And difference of this number is also 2. So this is in a definite order. And in what is rules? What is the rules here? It is addition of 2. Two. What is the difference? 2. No? So after 7, what will come? It is 9. Then after 9, just plus 2, you get 11. Then again plus 2, you get 13. Again you plus 2, you get 15. And this is called sequence. It is in definite order. And the rules of this order is addition of 2. And this is called sequence. And some more example we have here, that is, just read out, 5, 10, 15, 20. So this is also in a definite order, isn't it? Then what, what is the rules here? It's a difference of 5. So here, this is called term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4. So what is the difference of term 2 and term 1? It is 5. So what is the difference of these two numbers again? It is also 5. And difference of these two number also 5 and this is in a definite order and what is the rules here the rules is addition of 5 so here we are adding 5 the first number we have written already this first number cannot be changed after that what we add 5 then 5 plus 5 is 10 again we add 5 10 plus 5 is 15 again we add 5 here 5 uh, 15 plus 5 is 20 so this is also in a definite order and the rules of this uh, order is adding 5 so let us write some more here after 20 20 plus 5 is 25 25 plus 5 is 30 again 30 plus 5 is 35 again 35 plus 5 is 40 and this is in a definite order and the rules of this order is adding 5 and this type of order is called sequence. I hope you know already these things. What is sequence? And let's see one more. That is progression. What is progression? If the term of a sequence follow a definite pattern. So here I have given already some examples here. This is term. Term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, term 6, term 7. Term eight. So in the first example, we have till term 7. And this term of a sequence, as you already know, this is a sequence number. And this follow a definite pattern. What is the pattern here? It's a difference of 2, 2, 2 in this case. And here we have the difference of 5, 5, 5. So it follow the pattern. And that pattern is called progression. Got it? Then here we have arithmetic progression arithmetic is nothing but it's a branch of mathematics here we mainly see the numerical part okay then what is arithmetic progression an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number each term term you already know 
here we have some example already a sequence and we say this is term the first one is first term second term third term fourth term fifth term sixth term like that it will goes okay then what is arithmetic progression what do we have here it's a list of number of which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number so after first term here in this case we are adding what number here the first example we are adding 2 and that 2 what is the difference of these two number 2 here also we have the difference of 2 here also 2 2 2 so here we add the fixed number isn't it what is that fixed number in this case that is 2 isn't it so here the number is increasing by 2 and that fixed number is called what do we have here the fixed number to the preceding term preceding term means before succeeding means after okay preceding here we usually have the first term so after first term then except the first term first term cannot be changed it will remain same okay so after first term what do we have here this is increased by two isn't it and this difference of this two number is called common difference So here the first term and the difference of these two number is called common difference and that common difference is called the fixed number okay then here we have this is an example of AP so in AP what do we have we have first term so the first term we do not ask a a is first term first term means the first number so so what rules it follows here it's adding of two isn't it and what did that uh, fixed number fixed number is two and that fixed number is called common difference and we denote this common difference as d okay the first term we denote as a and the common difference that is the fixed number of the two numbers is common difference and we denote as d then here we have a is first term and the second term also we assume as a2 that is term 2 a3 means term 3 a4 term 4 a5 term 5 a6 term 6 a7 a8 it will goes on and that is called term of an ap okay and the fixed number is called common difference and that common difference we denote as b and we denote the first term as a and here in short we say arithmetic progression is AP okay dear students in this chapter we will learn these three things the first one is general term of an AP so we have the formula of general term of an AP is this one as you already know this A we denote as term A and means end term N is number of Term. Say suppose like if n is 10, I'm going to find the 10 term of the n, AP. You already know, in AP the numbers are always in sequence. It follows the definite pattern. Okay, then A is first term. We denote A as first term. Then here we have D is common difference. Common difference. common difference and we denote as D and here N is number of terms so here this is general term of an AP this is the formula you have to buy out the formula and next we will do the last how to find nth term from the N and this is the formula L is last term N you already know it it is number of term and D is common difference then one more we have that is sum of an AP this one we will do in the next class so how would we know that which term is the AP for example let's take 1 1 3 5 7 9 and it goes on it's endless okay so this is an AP so how do we know that the equation is in AP 
So if the common difference are same, then we can say that this is in AP. Okay, so here what is the difference here? 2. Here also 5 minus 3, 2. 7 minus 5, 2. So here it follows a definite pattern, isn't it? So that is 2, adding 2. And this is called AP. So from AP in AP, in general term, what we mainly find, we can find on which term? Say suppose like the 10th term of an AP is what number? So here as you already know, this is first term, A1, isn't it? This is A2, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5. This way it goes on. So what is the fifth term of an AP? This is AP 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So the fifth term of an AP is, in this case we can take directly. The fifth term is 9. But say suppose like if we have more numbers, if I want to find the 100 terms, then I cannot write all, otherwise uh, the paper will be full, isn't it? So, using the formula we can find easily, the 100 times, 1000 times, more than 1000 times also we can find easily. So, uh, let us try to find using this formula. Let's say uh, the 10th term, so here n is 10, the 10th term. So let us find in this AP what would be the 10th term of this uh, AP. Okay, AP means these numbers. Then here we have A is what? A is first term. So here we have first term is 1. And D, D is common difference. And we have formula to find D. That is term 2 minus term 1. What is term 2 here? That is term 2 minus term 1. What is term 2? term 2 is 3 minus term 1 is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 here we get the common difference is 2 you already know this the difference of this AP is common difference but this is this is the way we find D okay you can take it as a general form or formula okay so here we have n is 10 first term is 1 and the common difference is 2 so here how many terms, which term we need to find? We need to find the tenth term. Okay, let, let, let apply in this formula and see the tenth term. So here we have the formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 b. So a is term. Okay, then n is number of term. Here what do we have? n is 10. So in place of n we take 10. Then A, what is A here? The value of E is 1. Plus N, we already know that is 10 minus 1 into D is common difference. What is the common difference here? Common difference is 2. So here the 10 term we can find easily. 1 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 into 2. So what do we have here? 1 plus 9 to the 18. So 1 plus 18 is 19. So the 10th term of this AP will be 19. So in the same way we can find uh, 50 times. Okay, the 50th terms. So 50th term will be what? N will be 50. So just apply here in place of N 50 and you will find the 50th term easily. So this is the way we find nth term. And using this, we can find, using this formula, we can find number of terms also. All these are solution part, how to find n, how to find nth term, all these things. We will solve more questions in the next video. Thank you.